Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day, and this one is part of my countdown to 2026, 10 integrals in 10 days. So today is integral number 10. Let's get into it. We have the indefinite integral of sine of the natural log of x squared dx. So go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own if you'd like. I'm going to jump right in, and you have a few choices. You could do a substitution first if you like, and then eventually do integration by parts. I'm just gonna aggressively go for it and do integration by parts. So I'm gonna let u be basically the whole integrand, sine of ln of x squared, and then dv will be good old dx. Now, to find du, obviously we have to do the chain rule. Um, you could use your properties of logarithms to kind of cut down on how many steps that involves. So I could move that to the exponent on x and make it the coefficient on the natural log. So if you want to think of this as sine of 2 ln of x, that'll cut down, right, on how many iterations of the chain rule you have to do. So du, derivative of sine something, is cosine something. And then the derivative of 2 ln of x would be 2 over x, and then we have dx. And then if dv is dx, then v is going to be plain old x. Good? Okay, so we have everything equals product of uv, so that'll be x sine of 2 ln of x minus integral v du, this product here. So we have cosine of 2 ln of x times 2 over x times another x dx, okay? Beautiful, beautiful look. These x's cancel out like a dream come true. And then you might say, hmm, I don't know if things are getting better, Professor V, because this doesn't look any simpler than the original integral. You're right. In fact, this guy's just going to boomerang. So once I notice that that's happening, then I think to myself, all right, I'm going to start referring to the original integral as i. So all of this here that we just found, our biparts formula, is equal to i. When we have one of these boomeranging integrals, it usually takes about two rounds. We're going to do one more integration by parts round, and then our original integral should boomerang or come back to us, okay? So you have to be consistent, like if u was the entire trig composed with natural log function, that's what it needs to be in round two. I'll call it u bar though, okay? Okay, so let me just clean up before we get there. So we have x sine 2 ln of x minus, I'm going to take this 2 outside, you guys, it'll look so much better, 2 integral cosine of 2 ln of x dx, good? And this is all equal to our original integral, perfect. So round two, we got to call it something else. So u bar, we already used up u, is cosine of 2 ln of x. And then dv bar is going to be dx. So then du bar, derivative of cosine something is negative sine the something. And then the derivative of the something, derivative of 2 ln x is 2 over x dx. And then v bar is just going to be x. Perfect. So my original integral i equals x sine 2 ln of x minus 2 times, and then now it's time for the biparts formula. So u bar v bar, that'll be x cosine of 2 ln of x minus integral du bar v bar. I'm just going to not like skip and not even write the x's because they're going to cancel out, right? But we will have a 2. Let's put that out here. And then since there's this minus sign here, do you see the minus sign? Ugh. Well, that'll switch that to a plus. Let's just hop to it. I put the 2 outside. And then we've got sine of 2 ln of x dx. Voila. Okay, look at it for a second. Has our, in our integral, has our boomerang returned to us? It sure has, guys. It sure has. Oh, it got just... The slightest little makeover, yeah, remember it was sine of natural log of x squared, but here it is, it's the same thing, that's the same thing, and we've got two of them. Okay, so this is i, all of this right here, but don't forget we have to distribute, so let me clean up before so we don't do anything crazy. So we have our original integral i equals x sine, if you want to start writing it the way it was, ln of x squared 
minus 2x cosine ln of x squared minus, that's right, 4i. Boom. Are we okay? All right, now your goal is to solve for i. That's how we can evaluate the antiderivative. Add 4i to both sides. Then we have 5i equals x sine of ln, maybe I need more parentheses, minus 2x cosine of ln of x squared. Okay, I need to divide by 5, very good. And then I'm also noticing, you guys, we can factor out an x from both terms, can we not? Indeed we can. Okay, great. So we have x over 5 times sine of ln of x squared minus 2 cosine ln of x squared. Close her up. Plus c. Et voila. How was that? Did you get there? Was it beautiful? Did you enjoy this? You know what we haven't done? We forgot something. Yes, we need to box it with pride. Absolutely. Here we go. So comment down below if you did it differently. Like I said, you could do a substitution first and then you would have um, ease and maybe you like that better, but you're gonna have to do it by parts anyways. It would still boomerang. You could do the tabular method. Um, what else could you do? Well, I wanna hear from you. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. So make sure your notifications are on and that you guys are subscribed. That way you'll know when I release tomorrow's integral, that's part of the countdown, integral number nine, and we'll be counting down one integral every day until it's 2026. If you need to brush up on your integration techniques or anything, you're in the right place. I have full-length video lectures for topics ranging from calc one, two, three, even pre-calc trig, differential equations, linear algebra, and so much more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V. Love you guys so much. Bye.